We're the Murrays, trying to master the art of growing up one day at a time. Guys, we got your questions, and we're finally answering them. It's been a long week, and either I was tired or John was working late, So, but here we are, both together. All the kids are sleeping, so it's peaceful, so we can yes. take our list of questions and hopefully answer them. I'm nervous. I'm not. I'm a little nervous. Okay. Question one. How old are you? I'm 28. My birthday is August 2nd. He's going to be 29. I am 26 and my birthday is February 22nd. I share it with George Washington. I'm like two of my friends. Why do you know that? the same birthday. Who doesn't know that? It's on the calendar. Look at your phone. No, you don't have it. I'm not. Look at your calendars. George How Washington did you meet? Slash what was your first date? This is good. Do you want to tell me? You want me to tell me? Um... You tell them about our first date. Okay, yeah, you tell them. Okay. Um, I worked at the Apple Store as a genius, and his best friend from, like, birth worked with me. And one day he was just like, you should be friends with my friend John. I was like, I don't, I don't know if he's, he's, he's trying to set me up. That's a really weird way to do that, but whatever. So he was like, check out our band, and, like, sent me their Facebook info. Uh, yeah told me to look at John's Facebook and I was like, okay, so what was it? One day... Once she looked, she couldn't stop. <laughs> I was walking <clears throat> out to lunch and Rob and his wife and John were walking into the mall where we worked and I said, we passed each other and I just said, hey, how's it going? And John was like, me? I'm like, oh, yeah. We had never talked before. We never talked before. So but still. Was... I looked at him and asked him how he She didn't look at me. She looked at like everybody else but me. That's why I was confused. <laughs> that's not true. It is true. Three of you. Anyway. That's how we met. Yeah, that is, that's, that is it. And, and then I just first, kept going. Well, and you said good. And uh, yeah, I said, and then she just walked away. It was very rude. I was leaving. Um, our first date. Wait, you have to tell him about the, the Facebook. So then I get this friend request from John. I'm like, oh, okay. And I add him. Come to find out later on our first date that Rob had sent him a friend suggestion and he clicked on it thinking like that I sent him a friend request. But when he clicked on it, he realized that it just sent me a friend request and he was like, what were you like? I don't know, I was just like, oh no, undo! <laughs> there is no undo. Not that he didn't want to be friends with me, he was just embarrassed. Yeah, I was embarrassed. I didn't want to be that guy. I don't know. <laughs> and I was. Alright, what was your first date? Oh wait, are we not done? Well, no, I guess it kind of goes into that. Okay, you so sent me a message. I sent her a message and... To try to look like you had me on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I think I suggested getting coffee or mm -hmm. something like that. We did that. We went and got coffee and we stayed there talking well past... It was like eight hours. Yeah. They were... talk outside of there for It eight was hours. like two in the morning when we left there. And they're obviously closed by that point. When is our anniversary? Um, June 25th. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yes. June 25th. I want to say July, I don't know. Yeah, we've been married for four years this year. What do you do for a living? <laughs> I work for my church and do our video and media kind of stuff. I also... I uh, do wedding videography on the side uh, as well as I have my real estate license and kind of just do that as well. Not very often, but Not sometimes. very often. I just kind of do Well, we have friends they... that want to buy our Yeah. He's busy. And what do you do for a living? I, um, I stay home and take care of our kids. Yes, you do. In our house. We felt like it was important to have um, me at home or just you know, a parent with them and raising them and that's just kind of always been like uh, something I've wanted to do so it was exciting to be able to. John works really really hard actually to make sure that I can stay home because it ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. <laughs> no but it really it's not cheap to have three four kids so okay. What are your tattoos of? Should we do that again? No, That's I'm using that. What are your tattoos of and how many do you each have? Who asked that question? Did you, see? Did you just, you made that, you just want people to know about your tattoos. Two or three different people asked about our tattoos and so that's why I just listed them. That's a good question. 
Um, my tattoos are, I have this tattoo, it says, born and raised, and it's the state of North Carolina, where we live. Um, that's very dear to me. Danielle thinks it's a uh, redneck, as she likes to say. I did not say that. Yes, yeah, she did. I said it's very poorly done. And she said it was redneck. Um, and then I have a Pac-Man tattoo, I don't know if you can see that, right there. She Another favorite. had something else negative to say about that one, but I get the most compliments on that one out of all of them. And then this one says love right here. Um, and I just like that tattoo. That and then nice. and then I have a tattoo on the back of uh, my back here. It's uh, Alpha and Omega, um, like the Greek letters or whatever. So. I have how many tattoos are there? Two. Oh, are we counting our ho homemade, homemade tattoos? <laughs> no, fuck. <laughs> you can. <laughs> I think I have five. Is that right? I think it's maybe. I have an anchor on the back of my neck. Um, what? That one is from my diary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, I have, this is my first tattoo on my wrist. It is Italian and it means love thy neighbor, love thy enemy. Um, across my chest it says God is love and that's from my favorite Bible verse. 1 John 4, 8. Those who do not love do not know God, for God is love. I have on my feet, um, Me Without You lyrics. On one foot it says the sun and the moon, and the other foot it says are my father's eyes. And then I have a tree that I drew on my side. But... This is my impulsive tattoo. It's um, an artist named Kurt Halsey. I got it when I was on Warped Tour, and it was a spur of the moment decision. Go ahead, next question. Whose idea was it to do the Shut Up and Dance parody, and how did we make the video? Or just some like, info about it. Um, it was my idea to do a parody video originally, before we were pregnant. I was like, it'll be so fun! And then I started brainstorming different songs. Like at one point, there was a Katy Perry song that I wanted to do, but it was like an older song. And nothing really stuck. And we weren't pregnant, so it didn't matter. But then I think once we found out, we were kind of like, oh, that'd be cool. But it wasn't really until we found out that our brother and sister-in-law were pregnant also, that, and they wanted to do a video with us that John was like, okay, and he got serious and found the song, and he's like, this song's perfect, and came up with all the lyrics. I think yeah. it was like a group effort, really, the whole idea. If that makes sense. And then I made it happen. Um, How did you make it? We shot it, well, we, I recorded all the audio except for the music, I just recorded the vocals and stuff. Um, and then, um, and when I say I recorded them, I mean I recorded each individual person. Um, and then we uh, got together, shot the video all together. Also, I went and shot the video over at Aaron and Liz's house. Our friend Jason came and, then, yeah, and helped us helped here. Us. And he brought his drone, and that's yeah. how we did the, the shot at the shot. end. He had a drone, which that's was pretty cool. Um, I was waiting so, for it to fall out of the sky. I was like, how long did the batteries last? He said 15 minutes. But I can't tell you how many times we tried to do that shot and Tyler would not. She just wouldn't dance with us. She's sitting, she's walking on the road, she's running over here. She's just Which kind is of, totally her personality, so yeah. it, I guess it worked. Yeah, so she, we, I was like, this thing's going to die and fall out of the sky while we are waiting for her to get right. Yep. It didn't happen. So we just woke with it. Get right. <laughs> Nobody's asked this, but let me tell you, my worst pregnancy symptom is that for whatever reason, whenever I'm pregnant, I cannot stay in the smell of John's breath. And it doesn't smell bad. It's not like, ooh, you have stinky breath. It's just like, it smells it's weird. It's like, ooh, you have breath. <laughs> it smells weird. And it makes me so sick. I actually threw up once. And right now, I'm making him put a drop of peppermint essential oil on his tongue so that... Which will do nothing. <laughs> Oh, I'll do something. <coughs> yeah, you yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> this stuff is hot. <coughs> <laughs> See, now all you smell like is peppermint. It's, it's coming out of my nose. It's just seeping through yeah, my every... Yeah, you did two every... dry drops. Two? Yes. Oh, I only felt one. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the craziest thing that's happened since the viral video? <laughs> the peppermint oil. Nothing. Um, the craziest thing, my mouth's <laughs> like watering so bad right now, this is your fault. Yeah, just keep going. The craziest, the craziest thing that's happened 
Um, I guess they're really, really not anything like crazy, crazy, but I think it's been pretty cool. Like that, like Ashton Kutcher shared the video and Zoe Deschanel shared the video, and um, just a lot. Like all the the like media attention it got was pretty. It was fun. It was fun. I mean, that was it was crazy to see that happen. So, do you get recognized by people when you go out? We live in Raleigh area. It's a really big area. I'm pretty sure that most of the people here haven't even seen the video. So. As of right now, <laughs> not yet. I mean, I but feel like I happen. feel like you know. What's that? Maybe people I've see us on the news, but they don't know. I've seen people like look at me and do like double takes, John. but I can't tell if they think I'm just James Franco or if they've seen the video. So now it's the, <laughs> that's because you got a bad. I'm answer. very confused. Whose idea was it to vlog? What made you want to, and will you do it full time? It was John's idea. It was my, well, no, it was a friend of ours idea. Okay. It was and our I friend of ours, it. it was our his best friend Rob's wife's mom. It was her idea. That's right, Miss Susan, we were talking about you. She said, you guys would be so great. And so and then John, we saw some John really likes that. Like, he likes when people tell him nice things. Like I do. He ran with it. He was and so like, I was we're doing like, this. We can do this. Yeah. I make videos. This would be easy. And yeah. So, so okay. wait, will you do it full time? Well, I think that we would love to work towards that. For me, John's got wedding season coming up and that gets really busy. So he's actually taught me how to use the editing program. So I've been doing the editing and I really love having something to do again, something creative. I come from like a artistic family and kind of artistic background. And I've been neglecting that side of myself since being a mom. So. It's really cool to be able to make stuff and just have a purpose outside of my kids. I love them, but obviously I still need something for me. So, so yeah, I would love to do it full-time, I think, eventually. Do you have an upload schedule in social media? Hmm. Um, we're kind of working towards an upload schedule. Um, we're just kind of trying to see what like works best for us right now and for our channel and just how you guys are. Um, the best times for y'all to watch and whatnot. So we're working towards that. We would love feedback. Yeah, give on us feedback. When you like to see our videos, what time of day? And make sure you put uh, time zone because. But we're also on the remember, East Coast. yes. <laughs> also remember that I am pregnant and we have three kids and John works three jobs. So we will do the absolute best we can to put videos out as often as we can. But it might not be every day for a while. I get some energy. Back. We're at least looking for a time to be consistent with, yes. so you'll know when to look for it if it's going to be up. And social media. And social media. We will post below in the description, so you guys have. Yeah, we have Facebook and Instagram. Access to that. Yep. Did either of you grow up with a big family? I have two brothers, an older brother and a younger brother. So my immediate family isn't huge, but a lot of my cousins. We were all close, and my parents have big families, and so I think big family is like a normal-ish in my family. Yeah, I have two brothers and two sisters, um, but I really only grew up around uh, my brother Aaron and my sister Michelle. My other uh, siblings are, were like 10 plus years older than I am, so they were kind of out of the house. So, um, but yeah, kind of the same thing. I mean, we, we, you know, even but now we all are. Yeah, you know, kind of pretty close, and um, so we currently have a, a big family, I'd say. It's like this, together, and then, and then back together. That's exactly right. Good. Uh, How okay. old are the girls, and when are their birthdays? How far apart are they? Um, let's see, they are each 15 months apart. This baby will be, what, 20 month, 21 months younger than Jude? Really? Oops. Yeah, the difference there is wow. bigger. I didn't realize it was that. <laughs> Tyler will be four, September 6th. Elena will be three, December 3rd. Hopefully not sharing a birthday with this new baby. Um, and Jude, her birthday is March 26th. She was actually, what, 19 days early, I think, so, yeah. Tyler says really funny things. What are your favorite quotes? She does say funny things. I know one, that's good. Tyler doesn't eat meat, but she also has no desire to even try it. John has offered her like sausage and she says, I, I don't want that dead, that's a dead pig. And it's really funny. But she said, I asked her one time, 
or maybe you said like why wouldn't she eat it or why you know and she said because it had eyes and a face and we cracked up but then she also says every time he's eating something she says will you eat dead piggies and dead cows and dead spiders yeah, all the no, time she's, she's convinced he eats dead spiders I don't know where she got that <laughs> I don't know where she got like I mean I, we're upfront about what you know what food is and what she's eating but we're not eating but she kind of chooses but yeah, she really thinks he eats spiders. Yeah, it's <laughs> that cracks me up every time. And she also one thing she likes to say a lot that is kind of funny. She says, "What's the big idea?" What's the big idea? I don't even know. I don't, we don't know where she got that from, but it's uh, it's pretty funny. Oh, definitely from the TV somewhere. Oh, speaking of TV, um, what, what are, are their, their favorite, favorite TV shows? shows and movies? Um, well, they, like? they both like um, they like. They like Yo Gabba Gabba. They're kind of no, getting kinda. away from that. But they I think did. right now they're both they're both are really into um, My Little Pony. They both like Doc McStuffins. Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Tyler likes Rescue Bots on Netflix. It's a Transformer yeah, Transformers show. Yeah, Rescue Bots. She, she does like show. that one. Elena, she kind of goes with whatever Tyler likes. So they really like Toy Story. That's a good one. That's one of their favorites. Yeah. Like How did you come up with all of their names? Well, I'm letting Danielle answer that because she didn't let me come up with any other names. Listen, if we ever had a boy, he wanted to name him Exo. That was my great grandfather's name. And There's that's a, a cool reason name. that name died with him. I would call him. him X. It died with him. I would call him X. And other kids would call him other things that rhyme with it that are not nice. That's what they'll call anybody names with. Yeah, you know, making it really better. easy for him, Jonathan. It'd be um, a cool name. They okay. would have called him X too. Um, let's see, Tyler, her name is Tyler Elizabeth, I just really like the name Tyler, I thought it was pretty, but Elizabeth we picked because it means, um, consecrated to God, she's our firstborn, and we just wanted her life to be for God, um, with Elena, I knew her name before she was born, like, when we were pregnant, we had a gender reveal, and I just, I wanted it to be a girl so badly, because I just knew the name, um, and her name actually means bright light. I picked that for her because I figured with a second daughter, um, we we wanted her to not over like not take leadership. I think from Tyler, but to still stand out until still shine and still be you know special. So it suits her. I mean, when she's happy, she is a bright light. Her middle name is Lee, and that's after my dad. His middle name is also Lee. It's spelled differently, and then. Judea, with our third, we knew that we wanted a Judah or Jude or Judea um, because it means to praise God. Her middle name is Isabella, which also means like God is my promise or my oath. So um, I think her name, yeah, is just special to us, you know, to be a little worshiper. Do you know what you were having with the first three? We did find out. Yeah. What we the, said we were going to wait with Jude, but we just, we couldn't. Yeah, we couldn't. And so... With Elena, we didn't find out at the ultrasound we had, like, a gender reveal party. It was fun. It was very fun. When is the baby due? Will it be the last? And do you want a boy or a girl? Do you know the due date? The baby is due... Number four. In around Christmas time. <laughs> In December twenty first. That's right. It's my little brother's birthday, actually. The baby is due December twenty first. Mm -hmm. It will most likely be the last, and we want a boy. Okay, it will be the last biological child. Oh yeah, we we do want to adopt it uh, or foster or foster or, or both. foster and adopt. So we're gonna plan to do that in the future once the girls are a little bit older. And, and boy. he. I'm just going to tell myself it's a girl because I don't, you know what, I just prepare myself, it'll be easier, I'd like to have a boy, but at the same time it would be cheaper to have a girl. Yeah. And they could share rooms and clothes and who knows. What was your immediate reaction when you found out you were pregnant? I was like, what am I going to do? I just got to a place of being like totally good with three and I freaked out a little bit. I was a little bit nervous. But then that passed and we were excited. I don't, yeah. honestly, I don't think it really even kicked in for me until 
this past ultrasound because I haven't really felt the baby move up until like two days ago. So I don't think it was until like seeing, you know, what about you? John was disappointed it wasn't twins. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were, dude. That's what you said. I just thought it'd be kind of cool, but I think now that I thought about it, I was like, that would be terrible. So. Not terrible. Twins aren't terrible. But they are when you have three kids already. Yeah. How are each of your pregnancies? Thank you. Um, let's see. Tyler's, I was working the whole time pretty Gosh, much I about at the Apple store. It was exhausting. I was on my feet all day. I was sick until 26 weeks, I threw up a lot, but then I was fine, you know, I'd throw up in the morning and be good for the rest of the day. With Elena, it was pretty much the same with the throwing up. Um, I had really bad, what they call it, SPD, like, basically my hips, like, pelvis area, I couldn't, it hurt all the time. I would wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom or even just to roll over from one side to the other and just cry because the pain was excruciating and it didn't really get better until she was born. So that was, that was horrible. That was the worst, I think. Um, and then with Jude, I think the throwing up was the same and I feel like hers was maybe the easiest. It, the hardest thing about it was having two to chase around. And this time, I throw up in the morning, I'm actually taking um, something to help with the nausea through the day. If I don't take it, I found that I'm sick more. But um, no hip pain through this one and through Jude's. I think it's hard. I'm tired. The fatigue is really, really bad this time. There have been days where I'm just like, I wake up and like, it's been an hour. Oh, the kids, oh, they're in the playroom. Good. Whew, whoops, sorry. <laughs> It's pretty bad. <laughs> Thankfully, John has actually let me sleep in every morning. He gets up with the girls, so if you don't see me in the morning, that's why I'm snoozing. But I need it. What are your favorite things <laughs> about being parents? For me, um, I guess having little girls, it's, uh, I don't know, it's just a sweet thing that they're just always so excited to see me Daddy. and when I come home they run to the door to greet me and hug me and if I leave without giving them hugs and kisses they get all upset about that and so it's just a, I don't know, having little girls is so sweet and um, it really does, it has changed me in so many ways and uh, so many good ways so um, I don't know, for me that's just been really really awesome, it's kind of something that even though it's hard to kind of have the three kids, it's something I do look forward to every single day is just getting to spend time with them. Yay. I like that. Seeing him as a daddy and his little girls loving him so much, it's sweet. Do you ever take all three out, like either of us take all three out by ourselves? And if so, how do we do it? No. <laughs> Pretty much no. Well, I... I never have. I think I would be more inclined to if I wasn't also pregnant, but it's just, it's a lot of work right now to like stay awake <laughs> and to get them ready. Um, but you know, usually when we go to church, you know, John, he leaves early because he works there. So if we go, then I have to get them all and get them out. And you took them to the, it's not to too bad. Like the Target or something one time by yourself. That was a mistake. <laughs> oh my word. I picked the Tyler up. From preschool, mm -hmm. and we went to Target after, and I don't know why, because it was nap time, and they, it was that was a mistake, because I had to get groceries, and the whole cart was full, and I had three kids, and I was pushing two in a stroller, and pulling a cart, and wearing one baby. <laughs> I've not done it since, that is for sure, I've not done it since. Um, no, it's really hard, and I'm usually late. I'm, I'm pretty much always late. So we avoid that at all costs. Mm -hmm. For now. It'll be easier when they get older. Like when I can say, Tyler, get in the car and buckle, and she doesn't climb into the driver's seat or, you know, everywhere else in the car. I think that'll make it easier. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. But then we'll have another one. No, we'll to... How do you get four kids ready? I don't think you do. I don't think it's possible. Any secret to your <clears throat> girls eating veggies? Yes. Only feed them veggies. 
that's not true. Oh. But really, they do eat. Well, they do eat really I well. I think our girls have always eaten Listen. pretty well. Yeah. So I think really, I just started them with very bland foods. Um, you know, like avocados first, bananas, sweet potatoes, those kinds of things. Usually when I give them veggies, I don't put salt or butter or anything on them. I just give them to them plain and I don't know, they've always, they've just eaten them. It's always just kind of been normal for them to have vegetables. I think the secret would be just to start them early and just keep it plain, keep, keep it simple. It. Yeah, don't, you know, sometimes it's easy to just feed, you know. Well, Lena, she, when I gave her avocados the first time, she threw up. You remember that? Wait, it was so funny. She like gagged. She hated them. And it probably took five or six times, but now she will just eat an entire avocado. Have you ever thought about hiring a full time nanny? Yes. But we can't afford to do we that. We can't afford to do that. <laughs> it would be nice. But yeah, we that's thought me. About it. I'm the full time nanny. Yes, I've already hired one. No, really. If I worked, I mean, Right now, if I worked it, I don't even think it would pay for child care for children or eight as young as our kids. But I want to stay home. Um, maybe a mother's helper would be nice. Somebody to help me clean, but we really can't afford that either. So, so right now, if it's... there's any volunteers, just <laughs> we'll just fill out an application. John's a pretty good mother's helper. Yeah. No, we kind of we do teamwork. You know, when he's home, it's kind of half and half, and then when he's gone, I take care of everything. And... It works good. Have you taken the girls to Disney? These are questions that are making me sad. No, we haven't. We can't afford to. But one day we will. I would love to take them on a Disney cruise. I think they'd like that. I think I'd like that. I'd like to just go on a cruise. But I think they would love Disney World. Oh yeah, no, I know they would. Jude might be a little scared. Nah. Elena might be a little scared. <laughs> she might be a little like, what is that? But I think when she saw some of her favorite Character, she'd be happy. Oh man, Doc McStuffins. So. She, she would love. love that. She would love Rapunzel. Oh, yeah. She's taking some Rapunzel. She'd be happy. Goodness. We need to do that. I know. Just think, I never thought about that way, but just I can imagine she would love that. She'd be happy. But we are taking them to the beach in September for Tyler's birthday. So close. It's not. It's not even the same. But maybe my my parents are going. Maybe they'll dress up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Captain Hook. And Your dad could be Gaston or whatever his name is. <laughs> He could. He, he would well, totally he probably be. <laughs> he totally What are your big parenting choices like? Have they changed from Tyler to now? Um, I would say this was a big loaded question. That's for sure. It's a bloated question. It's a bloated question. Um, we we try to stick to natural, more natural things. You know, we do cloth diaper, but right now, pretty much all of our laundry is dirty. Well, no, I think I washed some of it. Regardless, when I get overwhelmed with laundry, we we just do disposables for a while, you know, that kind of thing. So we're not so set on doing things a certain way that we snuff our noses at doing it in an easier way. Um, but we do try to stick to natural things so we can, like try to feed the girls um, organic things when we can afford to and for as much as we can. And have they changed from Tyler to now? I would say, Yes, definitely. I think I've learned a lot more and I've probably gotten more particular. You'd think it'd go the other way around, but I think with Tyler, it was so, everything was so new. And finally, last question. Last question. What are your religious beliefs? I'm gonna let you go because you already told me what you would answer, and I thought it was a good answer. So, we um, we're Christian. We believe that you can have a relationship with God through Jesus. That Jesus died for our sins, and that there is grace. We believe that God is gracious and merciful, but also just. Um, you know, for me, I made mistakes in my past and we don't think that those kinds of things define you. We think that grace can cover it and you can kind of, you know, come to salvation through Jesus and be covered and change your life. And um yeah. That's pretty much the core of what we believe. It's yeah. A wonderful thing. We believe, you know, your relationship with God is a personal thing and it's something that you have to seek and pursue. 
Hey guys, thanks for your questions. Um, we had a lot of fun reading them and answering them, and hopefully we'll be able to do another Q&A soon.